This entire place, you can see, is completely packed with individuals. It's kind of getting down here. A lot of them don't have pants on, too. I mean, you know, whatever floats their boat, I guess. Sometimes you're at a club, you gotta take your pants off. This is how it is. It's happened to me many times. Sorry, baby, I gotta take these pants off right now. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to All Walls Must Fall. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. So I first caught wind of this game like a couple months back. It was making its rounds through the entire Kickstarter campaign. It was funded and it's now hitting Steam and early access for future development. And this is a game right here that looks so impressive, the visuals on it. This reminds me a lot of like XCOM meets a Deus Ex and even a little bit of the Matrix involved in here. And you'll soon see what I mean. The game takes place in a futuristic world where the Cold War never ended. And it's basically coming to an end here, 10 hours before you actually take control of the game. So let's get into the game over here and show you exactly what this is all about. East Berlin, 2089. The Cold War never ended. Yet the end lies ever close. Will this be the last time? Yeah, it looks like it, alright. You have been redirected to negative 10 hours. There has been a catastrophic event. Your agent awaits you. Your mission is to kill Dragon Mueller. Why would I do that? Don't worry, we will get them. Trust me, he has it coming. Left click somewhere to move there. Right click to run by, but beware the added cost. Click on the bouncer or the door to get inside. Now the game, as you can see right now, is a bit of a 2D and 3D combination. Our character, as you can see, is 2D at the moment, but there's also a bunch of 3D models as well. The game it just looks very, very cool to me. Um, I'm very, I'm fairly impressed by this game, at least the visuals to it. Um, down here, we have the 500 resource. This will kind of dictate everything you do in this game. If we walk, it'll be like one tick down. If we run, it'll be like five per actual movement. So that dictates everything you're going to be doing in this game. And you get a lot more of that by uncovering more of the map. So at the moment, let's talk to the bouncer here. Here we have a chance of either being aggressive or hopefully trying to talk ourselves into the club without necessarily drawing too much of attention to herself. If you 100% any of the red areas, you'll get into combat. If you do the greens, you get to just walk on in. So here's this guy saying me and he's saying, here comes trouble. Not as trouble as I really am. You're damn right I do. What are you going to do about it? You don't look like someone, you don't look like you can handle it. So, let's go over here with, um, you're damn right I do. Hmm, we made him a bit scared. Just shut up. You should care, because that's your job. Nor how you look, apparently. You will care what I do if you don't let me in. Neither do I, can I go dance now? Well, um, scaring him kind of worked to begin with, so let's continue with that one. Okay, it's still working. Annoy somebody else, please. You better hop I do. I'll be right out of your hair, or what? Well, at least my hips are still moving. Apparently, I just want to get in there and dance, too. Let's go with, or what? Oh, oh, we got it. Excellent. Okay, go on in. I don't want any trouble. So, our, we basically just um, talked this guy into letting us inside. I mean, his job is to keep me out of here, not cause any trouble, and we just basically bullied this bouncer into letting us inside. Now, because he let me inside, this guy won't be a problem. But we do have a gun, and this right here is going to be a weapon scanner. If I walk through here, weapon will be scanned, everybody will know I'm here. So what we're going to do right now is just hack. And by hacking, we can now walk in here with our gun. And by uncovering some other of the map, we actually got our resource back as well. So our job now is to find Dragon Mueller, who apparently seems to be hanging out in a, in a gentleman's club, it does seem. There is nothing here but gentlemen indeed. <laughs> no females at all, which is perfectly fine, you know, Dragon Mueller. It's the year 2089, you know, you gotta experiment a little bit with this guy, it does seem. So, the more of the map you uncover, the more of the resources you get back, so... There's not much over here, so I think I went the wrong direction. Gotta look for, well, there's a couple of doors here. There's also a dance floor over there, people are just getting down over there, too. Well, let's come on down this way, maybe we could find old Mueller here, nope. It's another part of the club. What I like about the game, too, is that it adds a bunch of characters to your screen. So, you know, a lot of these games, like, usually you'll be like at a club and it's like, you know, probably like seven or eight people. It's like a giant club. And there is a lot of people here. So it actually does make sense because a lot of games kind of leave that out for performance issues. But here, 
This entire place, you can see, is completely packed with individuals. It's kind of getting down here. A lot of them don't have pants on, too. I mean, you know, whatever floats their boat, I guess. Sometimes you're at a club, you gotta take your pants off. This is how it is. It's happened to me many times. Sorry, baby, I gotta take these pants off right now. Okay, where is this Dragon Mueller, though, is the problem? Hmm... That door doesn't lead much to anywhere else, so... Oh, here it is. Locked door. That's probably where he's at. Now, hopefully we haven't really drawn anybody's attention to ourselves here. So let's continue walking by. That's the door that we need to get to right now, too. So once we kill this guy, we do have to make a quick escape. So we gotta keep an eye out on the exit, which is down that side. And we might have to fight ourselves out afterwards, too. So... This door, it could be interacted with. I would hope we could probably hack it, so nobody sees us over here just wailing away on the door. Let me interact here, and I'm gonna hack it open from afar. And now I'm in combat mode. So here is our dude. Oh, luckily he's right in front of the door. So what this means for us is we could just kill him and just run out and go to our car and be fine. Technically speaking, you wanna fight everybody here. So now how this is gonna work out, I'm gonna go into my aim shot. And take a shot at him. Good damage. I'll do one more. And we brought him down. You can also rewind time if things don't go in your favor by using A. But right now it worked out really splendidly for me. So what I gotta do now is get the hell out of here really soon. Um, and when you're paused like this, nothing really happens, so you're fine. So now I'm gonna continue moving this way. There's also full cover and half cover as well, very much like XCOM if you're familiar with that. This guy's over here chasing me down. I don't think the bouncers know what happened, so I might just be able to run on by, perhaps. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction, though, so there's no... We gotta get through here. Go for it. This guy's shooting at me. He missed. <laughs> keep running, keep running, keep running. And what's cool about the game, too, is that whenever you make a move, it'll tell you if you're gonna take damage that turn or not. So it lets you... It gives you a chance to be like, oh, I'm gonna take damage from this move. I'll make another move instead. Uh, of course, you can't always 100% evade that, but it does give you a bit of an idea. So now there's a bunch more dudes here after me. Um, where is the exit? Right through here, huh? You know what? I'm gonna start running. Let's go for it. Oh, you have no idea what's happening still, do you? Let's go. We're out of here. All right. Nobody questions the guy running out of the, the club holding a gun, too. <laughs> it's great. So our mission's been completed already. Only two human casualties. Really, was it two? I thought I only killed one of them. Oh, you know what happened? I believe the guy who was shooting me when I was escaping probably killed a bystander too or something. That's pretty cool. So total currency, total currency would be 997. I mean, it's not cool that he died, an innocent bystander, but it's kind of cool how the game takes count of what happens too. Now, in case you're wondering who this fella here talking to us is, he is from the future. He's the reason why we're here trying to change the, the course of history now. Why didn't he go back in the past and keep the Cold War from ever happening? Well, that's beyond me. I guess for story purposes, we won't find that out right now. So with bar 42 done, we have a shop too. Let's see if we can buy anything over here. We have 997 funds. Rewind is locked. I guess it'll be like a more advanced version of our undo button. But that's locked. We don't have enough money for that. Nope, a thousand. So I don't think we can afford anything at the moment. So let's go over to Razzo's Ritze. And try that one out over here. Now, I've only done the first mission, so now I'm kind of running blind, so just keep that in mind. This is not a series, in case you're wondering. Uh, I'm just doing a video because I wanted to show the game off. So if you enjoy it, though, do let me know. You might, you know, keep an eye on it for future developments as well. What are the dead drops? Ashtrays. What am I collecting? Something explosive? Funny you should say that. Oh. <laughs> so am I? I guess I am. So for this one, I only have 100. That's kind of weird. Why Why didn't it get reset? Okay, so I could come into the Razzle's Ritze. So we're looking for ashtrays in the hallway inside of this club, it does seem, huh? So I could come in through here. I'm gonna come this way instead. I want to see if there's anything else about the map that I want to check out with. And what's cool about the game, the game is it actually promotes like investigation and exploration. Just because you see one entrance does not mean it's the only entrance to a certain area. Although right now, it does seem like that's actually what's happening. I'm kind of curious as to why I didn't reset my counter, though. Here we go. There's a dude here. Oh, there's a droid. Oh, that droid might be scanning for weapons. Uh, let's get out of the sidewalk. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah, ignore him. 
Let's talk to this fellow if we can. Oh, hey, Kai. A long time no see. Apparently this guy recognizes me. You know how it is. Once in a job, always in a job. Sure, we'll go with that one. I'm making him scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, you're working tonight? You better watch out. You don't want to have to work. You don't have to... I don't... What? Don't want to have to work you over again. Well, I mean, that's working right now because he is kind of scared. Yeah, I am. You better split. No, that worked. Brought it back up. Thanks for the heads up, guy. Take care. Goodbye. You got it. No worries. Take care? Well, that worked out. So this gave me access to this area without pissing anybody off, at least for now. Cool. And I got my resources back. So here's a dude right here, and we're looking for some ashtrays in a hallway. Now this guy, I'm not sure if we'll be able to talk him out of this one. You're not supposed to be here. You don't get to tell me that? Obviously I am. How else would I be? <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Okay, I raised scared a bit, but then it also raised anger a bit. Wait, what? Who gave you access? Oh, you're asking me for a name now? I don't know their names. Pascal, Ido, Kazim, or Taro. Pascale? Kind of worked. What are you doing here anyway? Something broke and I gotta fix it. Can't tell you, but I can tell you what... I can tell you when my shift ends. Uh, I guess I'm here to fix something. Hey! Alright, that worked out. So we've avoided another one. And we got my resources bag. Very cool. So let's come on down here and we'll hack this open. Oh, we got an ashtray. So here's our very first... Oh, it's second one too. Oh, no package here. So no, they're not in every single ashtray. You gotta find it though. Oh boy. So we have a bit of exploring to do here going forward. Is this another gentleman's club? Yeah, it's a lot of clubs in this um, game, huh? I mean, we're in another part of the city too, so... Alrighty. Let's loot this one as well. No package here. Another ashtray here too. It says in the hallway, but I don't think it's being specific like, oh, there's this one hallway you gotta find it. I guess it's just random. No package here either, though. Everybody's getting down over here. Well, I guess meanwhile, we could probably come inside of this and uncover this one and probably get our points back. And maybe this is where we could find one of them. Ashtray is here. No package. One more in here, though. Found a package. So the first one has been found. And we have a door through this side. Man, this, this area is actually really big when you think about it. Because we moved quite a bit far down to actually get through the backside. So, good god. This is a giant map. No baggage here. I guess I could be running. I'm not sure if running alerts people to me. Like, I don't want to look inconspicuous. Like, you know, why is this guy running around? No package here. It will speed things up a bit. No baggage here, though. Second one. All right. Well, we might be able to get through this entire mission without fighting a single person, which would be pretty ideal. We have three... We can take three shots before we die. And of course, you could always rewind time and things in case things don't go your way, too. Well, I guess we'll kindly come in through here and see if there is an ashtray here. Not looking likely. Let's rotate. Nothing here. Here's the old bar. Oh! <laughs> Bartenders. No, no, no. Just keep walking. Oh, there's a locked door. Tell me I can find the package here instead. Nope. Mm, there might be more of the club over here, so should we risk this door by hacking it? I hope this doesn't alert everybody to me. Oh, there's a dude here. And there's a couple more doors that way as well. I'm not going to talk to him just yet because I feel that if I fail the speech thing, then we will for a fact have to fight. I mean, it seems like there's more of the club through here. You know what? Let me try running. No, nobody's suspicious about my running thing. That's good. You know, maybe I just, I'm just i just going to the restroom or something. You know, I'm in a dire need to find a restroom. That's why I'm running. Oh, there's a weapon scanner here. So you... I hacked. Very good. A drone terminal. Oh, you could control the drone outside? That's fairly awesome. 
Now, we're running out of resource time here, so... I should probably stop running for that reason. There's another ashtray over here. Tell me you're in here, dude. There's another one there. Okay, we have a couple of ashes to hopefully go through. No package. What I do like is that the more of the map you uncover, you get this. So you're not necessarily too rushed. As long as you uncover more of the map, you're you're kind of be fine, I guess. No baggage here. So now we're in a bit of trouble because that's the outside. That's my car out there. So this leads outside. Chances are now that we are indeed going to have to go through where Homeboy was at guarding before. Yeah, so we're going to have to do another speech check more than likely. Because we... Yeah, we've uncovered that already. I know for a fact I haven't missed a... an Asher just yet. We're at 281 now, which is going to be kind of close because we still have to escape afterwards, too. So let's just come over here and talk to this fella. If I piss him off, then I have three dudes behind me that are going to get pretty crazy with us, too. This guy's just saying, get the fuck out of here straight up. That's what I told him. Still have to be. I know, I know. I'll get it fixed as soon as possible. But let's continue with our bullshit reasoning from before. Respectful. Wait, what? Who gave you access? Oh, again with the names? Uh, Kristoff? Oh, that worked. What are you doing here anyway? Uh, something broke? <laughs> I like how that keeps working still. Alright, I'm just gonna walk by, dude. Alrighty. We have... We haven't uncovered that just yet. But probably back here... Oh, there's an ashtray. No, no, don't go back. Just check the ashtray out. Got it! We're done! Can we bounce from the backside? I mean, I guess we probably could. Let's just run out at this point. I doubt anybody's stopping me. There's a dude over there at the terminal. Let me see if I can hack it. I don't think we have to at this point, but there is the front entrance. Do you think this guy will question why am I walking out there when he never let me in? I don't know. Let's we'll see if I can hack this, though. Yeah, hacked it. And now we'll hack that as well, and that should give us enough to get out of here, right? <laughs> it worked! All right! Again, you don't have to fight. You can just easily talk yourself out of this as well. And we got 319 currency for this one, so we're over a thousand, so we should be able to unlock something. And we shall, let's see. Click on the shop to buy weapons, and now we have unlock... Shoe fabric, Bruce Fried, and oh god, I'm probably mispronouncing those pretty badly, huh? Let's go to the shop here and let's see. Rewind, trace back, primary weapon. I could unlock a secondary weapon too, a third weapon as well. How about this rewind? Rewind the world around you, but not yourself. Useful to teleport around by not taking any time to move. You can also teleport through doors and walls if you're able to step through them first somehow. That sounds fairly intriguing so much, in fact, that I think I'll I think I'll pick it unless I could buy a weapon. Oh, I could buy a weapon. Huh. 500. Oh, I can't unlock secondary weapon and buy a, another weapon, unfortunately. I could get a shotgun over the pistol, though. Let me buy the shotgun because it's a shotgun. I love shotguns in games. And then we'll try to build up for the secondary weapon and hopefully have like two weapons in the fly. That could be fairly useful. All righty. Well, we're out of time with this video. I think we're out of time with this video. Let's go out here and check out a level, and then we'll probably wrap it up. But as I mentioned, I just wanted to show the game off. Gather contraband in the backroom cabinets. What is this one here? Interrogate Dragon Mueller about his illegal data. I thought we killed him. What? Didn't we kill that guy? Contact a suspect in a private suite. Let's check this one out here really quickly. But yeah, we're out of time with this video anyway, guys. I just wanted to show off the game because it looked fairly intriguing, and it's hitting early access, so... Obviously, it's not done just yet. There's still more development to come down the line. But I enjoy it. I'll probably keep my eyes open for this one as well. And I encourage you guys to do the same as well if you're intrigued by it. And if you want to see some more in the future, let me know in the comments. And um, we shall check it out then. All right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.